The UCF Knights have quietly been stacking up their roster through the transfer portal. Gus Malzahn has brought in eight additions this spring from the transfer portal, including bringing in the MAC Offensive Player of the Year running back Penny Boone. In 2023, Penny Boone rushed for 1,384 yards and 15 touchdowns for Toledo. So this was a huge pickup for the Knights. And pairing Penny Boone with one of the best running backs in the Big 12, RJ Harvey, is going to be a scary one-two punch. And that's a really solid backfield for the UCF Knights in 2024. And it might just be one of the more underrated running back rooms in all of college football because both running backs ran for well over 1,000 yards in 2023. And in this video, I wanted to evaluate the future of UCF football with Gus Malzahn as head coach because right now Gus Malzahn has UCF set up perfectly for the future. And they have a top 2 2024 Big 12 recruiting class and transfer portal class. And I honestly believe UCF has a very bright future in the Big 12 conference. They are located in a great spot for recruiting because they get a lot of their commitments from the state of Florida. And there's a lot of athletes that come out of the state of Florida. And right now, UCF has the best 2025 recruiting class in the Big 12 Conference. They have nine commits. Eight of those nine commits are either from the state of Florida or the state of Georgia. They have multiple four-star recruits. Safety, Kendarius Reddick from the state of Georgia. Four-star running back, Tavion Swint from the state of Florida. Another four-star safety, Tony Williams from the state of Florida. They are just getting going in the 2025 recruiting cycle, and I do not think Gus Mazon is done yet because he is in a recruiting battle for another four-star receiver, and that guy is Tyler Williams, also from the state of Florida. And they are also in a recruiting battle for four-star edge rusher Jesse Harold, who would be a huge commit for this team, because he is one of the better edge rushers in the class of 2025. And ultimately, UCF hasn't had any success landing any big five-star recruits as of lately, but it's only a matter of time when they start winning games and attract more athletes. Because despite only winning 6 games last season and being a new team in the Big 12, Gus Malzahn is recruiting at a high level in the Big 12. And he's already making a big impact not just in recruiting but also in the transfer portal. And they are going to keep getting better and landing more top athletes going forward. He's also landed 24 players in the transfer portal. A bunch of them have potential to be quality starters. And one of those guys that UCF brought in is 4-star quarterback KJ Jefferson from Arkansas. He has been a very solid quarterback in college, and he's heading into his sixth season of college football next year, and he's a huge pickup for this UCF team. He's a veteran who has played in many tough situations before, and he has passed for nearly 8,000 career passing yards with 36 starts at Arkansas, while also rushing for 1,800 yards on the ground and being the leading rusher for Arkansas last season. He's a quarterback that could potentially be flying under a lot of people's radars. He played against very tough defenses in his time in the SEC. He led Arkansas to multiple bowl game wins in a 9-win season, but last season he had no help on the offensive side and he was limited because of a very bad offensive line and his stats went down a bit and Arkansas went 4-8 and eight last season. But he should have a lot more to work with on the offensive side at UCF heading into his final season in college. UCF has two very good running backs on the roster with RJ Harvey and now Penny Boone who were both over 1,000 yard rushers last season. And that should take a lot of the pressure off of a quarterback like KJ Jefferson. And UCF also returns receiver Kobe Hudson. And he had 900 receiving yards and 8 touchdowns last season for the Knights. And they also return Xavier Townsend, who has a very bright future, and he should level up in 2024. Those are two very reliable targets for KJ Jefferson, and Kobe Hudson is going to be a stud at receiver. And I'm not saying Big 12 teams play bad defense, but the defenses in the Big 12 are not on the same level as the SEC defenses. And I expect KJ Jefferson to have crazy stats in 2024 because he had good stats with less to work with at Arkansas. And he was also in a tougher conference in a very tough division which was the SEC West. UCF should also have a very solid group of tight ends and they return Randy Pittman who caught 19 passes for over 200 yards only as a freshman. He is a very consistent and reliable target catching a pass in 11 games last season and all it takes is one breakout game for him to level up even more. KJ Jefferson has a lot of weapons to work with on the offensive side, and I think KJ Jefferson will be a great fit for this team as a whole. He should make magic in Gus Malzone's RPO style offense, and I really think that he is going to have his best season for the UCF Knights in 2024. And UCF also has an offensive line last season that was one of the 23 listed on the 2023 midseason honor roll for the Joe Moore Award for the most outstanding offensive line unit in college football. UCF ran the ball very well last season. But unfortunately, the offensive line loses multiple veterans, so they will have to adapt up front. 
and they have brought in multiple transfers on the offensive line. And they also lost many quality players to the transfer portal. And they have to replace a bunch of production on offense. And they will have a bunch of new starters on the defensive side after losing multiple starters and one of their top defensive backs, Martinez. But they do return some of their top stars on defense. They returned Malachi Lawrence, who had seven and a half sacks last season. They also returned defensive tackle Lee Hunter, who had 69 tackles and three sacks last season. They also returned Damari Henderson, who was a big playmaker on the defense for them last season. But UCF has been quietly building up the defensive side this spring with adding edge rusher Nigel Ack Kelly from Miami. He was a higher-end four-star recruit out of high school. They also add safety Cedric Hawkins from Ohio State and a four-star cornerback from USC, who are both very talented defensive backs. And I do have a lot of questions about how this team is going to look on the defensive side of the ball because they have some unproven and younger talent, but they have some players on the defense returning. And they added some big additions through the transfer portal. UCF may also be adding a very controversial player who is five-star cornerback Romani McLean. So he would be another talented pickup if he did transfer to UCF. But ultimately, I don't know if Kermani McLean is even a coachable player, so I don't know what to expect from him, and I'm still not sure where Kermani McLean will end up landing. Right now, UCF has the second best transfer portal class in the Big 12, and I think they are potentially a sleeper team to possibly win the Big 12 championship in 2024, because at the very least, I know this offense is going to be very good, and adding players like quarterback KJ Jefferson and running back Penny Boone is huge for UCF. And they really should have one of the more talented offenses in the Big 12 next season. And anything is possible with the quarterback. And I think KJ Jefferson is one of the most underrated quarterbacks in the Big 12. And his size is going to be scary for Big 12 defenses. And I think they have a solid head coach as well. Gus Malzona has coached over 150 games at the FBS level. And he has a winning percentage of 65. He led Auburn to multiple SEC championship appearances and a national championship appearance back in 2013. And ultimately, it's been a while since he has led his team to a championship, but he has never won less than six games in a season, and he is building a solid future for UCF. And I wouldn't be surprised if UCF won a Big 12 championship within the next five years, because the Big 12 is honestly wide open, and Gus Malzahn is using every resource to his advantage. And he has multiple top two Big 12 recruiting classes, and all it takes is one good season, and then UCF could potentially start getting those big-time five-star recruits. And 6-7 and seven isn't a great record, but it was a transitional year into the Big 12 for UCF. And 6 wins and a bowl game appearance is somewhere to start. And next season, I expect them to have one of the best offenses in the Big 12. So we'll see how the defense looks because they had one of the worst rushing defenses in the country last season. But they added multiple linebackers through the transfer portal. And they have guys who could play a huge role on that team. And like I said, there's a lot of talented but also unproven players on that defense. But if the defense takes a step up and all the talent pays off, then I could see UCF making some noise in the Big 12. And even if the defense disappoints, I still expect a bowl game appearance at the very least because I expect the offense to do great things with KJ Jefferson at quarterback in 2024. And the dominant one-two punch of Penny Boone and RJ Harvey is going to be very hard to stop. So we'll see how this team looks as a whole in 2024. But I'm mainly watching the defense, and if they want to compete at a high level, the defense will need to take a big step up, and they will definitely have to get better at stopping the run. But if the defense takes a big step up, this is a Big 12 championship contender in my eyes. So like I said, we'll see what happens. But I'm very interested to see just how good the UCF Knights can be in 2024. But anyways, you guys let me know your thoughts about UCF heading into next season down in the comments below. But that's going to do it for today's video. Let me remind you guys to like the video, and also subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so you never miss an upload. And if you guys love college football, then you will love this channel because we upload a ton of college football content and we basically cover everything on this channel. So definitely consider subscribing and also consider following my socials down in the description below. But that's going to do it, guys, and peace out.